In addition to door, window, wall, and room tags, there are a few other object tag types available in AutoCAD architecture. When using these tags, you are doing much more than simply placing an annotation symbol. You are also adding an object-based property set. The definitions within these sets may be used in tags and schedules. You may also automatically attach property set definitions to these objects on the AEC Object Settings tab in the Options dialog box. Let's review using these tags. These tags are available from Content Browser. From the Tags palette on the Document group of the Tool palettes, I'll click the More Tag Tools, which opens Content Browser in the Documentation Catalog Imperial Catalog. I'll select the Object Tags category and here we see that there are several similar looking tags. I'll drag and drop the furniture tag into the drawing, and then I'll minimize Content Browser. At the Select Object to Tag prompt, I'll pick a desk. The object-based property set is attached. I'll pick a spot for the tag, and the Edit Property Set Data dialog box opens. The number definition uses manual data. If you want to number all of your desks or chairs of the same style with the same number, make this style-based instead of object-based. I'll change the number to 100 and click OK. Then I'll press the Escape key. Remember that it's important to individually tag objects if you're using schedules rather than copying and pasting the tag. The reason is that the tagging process adds a property set that is object-based and is needed by the schedule. Select the tagged desk. On the Properties Palette Extended Data tab, we can see that there is a Furniture Objects property set. Now select the untagged desk, and when we look again on the Extended Data tab, we see that this property set is missing. The bathrooms are part of an external reference file, and we may tag through to the objects in the file as long as it isn't currently open. For example, I'll select a fixture and the entire external reference is highlighted, and the external reference tab is available on the ribbon. I'll press Escape, and then hover the cursor over the same fixture. We can see information about that specific object. I'll tag this object. From the Tags palette, I'll again select More Tag Tools, and then I'll select the Object Tags category. From here, I'll eyedrop in the Equipment tag. At the Select Object to Tag prompt, I'll pick the fixture. The next prompt is Select Option 2, but there is no additional information available at the Cursor Dynamic Input prompt. The two options are listed in the Command window. Option 1 will tag the entire external reference file or block. Option 2 will tag multi-view block fixtures in the external reference file. I'll press Enter to accept this default value and pick a place for the tag which opens the Edit Property Set Data dialog box. For the number value, I'll enter 200, click OK, then press Escape. If you prefer to automatically add object and style-based property sets to objects as they are placed in the drawing, you can toggle on the Automatically Attach option. You can find it in the Options dialog box, AEC Object Settings tab, AEC Property Set Definitions group box. After attaching these to the object that is placed first, they will automatically be added to all objects placed afterwards. So you may tag objects that are either in your file or that reside in external reference files.